everyone. Guess who's doing a chit chat? Get ready with me. Me. Finally, I've been so looking forward to doing one of these videos. As I film this, it is the 22nd of December. It's almost Christmas. And over the last, like, literally month, I've been doing so much traveling and just heaps of stuff. Like, every single weekend, I've been away. If you watch my vlog channel, this will be old news to you. But that's why I've been doing so many more, like, voiceover tutorials, which I still love to do. Like, I really love them. I still put in so much effort into them. But voiceovers are just a little bit easier to film and edit. They're a little bit faster. However, I really enjoy doing chit chat every with me. It was just the fact that I did not have much time to, like, actually spend editing them because they take like twice as long to edit. So today I'm not in a rush. I've almost finished all of my work for this entire year. Well you'd hope so. There's only like a few more days until the end of the month, like a week. I can't believe it. Holy crap. By the time you're watching this, it's probably like 2016, which is crazy. Whew, where did that year go? But anyways, I was like, screw it. I actually have a little bit more time and I just want to film a chit chat get ready with me. And I said in a recent let's Lip swatch. And I said in a recent lip swatch video that it was my Chi Chi one, the Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick swatch video. I'll link it down below if you want to see it. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do an updated like purple lips tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial with purple lips in a really long time. I'll list down below my last one. It was like from months ago, I believe. And I want to use this as well. This is the new Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon set. I received it yesterday. And I thought the colours were really pretty, so I might use this as well. And to address my appearance, I already have my foundation powder concealer done because I am doing a first impression. I think I'll start with my eyebrows today and I'll do my eye makeup. Or should I do my lips first? Maybe I'll do like my face and lips first and then do my eye makeup last because I want to like do purple lips and I don't know what, you know, I don't know which eyeshadows to pair with it. It's gonna decide which purple lipstick to choose though. Maybe I'll just use one of those Chi Chi ones because they are beautiful. I think I'll use Husband Shopping, it's my favourite one. It's a little bit pinkish rather than blue, like it's a pink toned, um, I was gonna say silver. Sorry if this video is like painfully long, I'm just... So, like, I don't know, I'm, in, I'm such in the mood, such in the mood, that doesn't make sense. Just in the mood for a chit chat, like, I haven't even done any makeup yet and I've already been filming for five minutes. This looks pretty, I'll use this lip liner, this is Hoochie by OCC, like a purple colour, I don't know if it matches perfectly, but I just want to use this to get a nice crisp line. Also, Hamish made me this juice to drink while I film, and it tastes so bad. Oh my gosh, am I listening to Christmas music? <laughs> This is actually like the ideal lip pencil for this lipstick. It's a very similar colour. And then again, this is called Husband Shopping. I love this colour. To me, this is a very wearable purple because it does have that pink undertone to it. I'll go onto my eyes now, I'll do all my contouring and stuff last. So today for my brows, I'm going to use Dirty Blonde Fluid Line by MAC. And then this brush here is a Billion Dollar Brows brow brush, which I really like. The end of it fell off though, so I glued it back on. <laughs> I used lash glue, but it's holding pretty well. Today I am also filming a um, favourites video of my etc favorites of 2015 that's what I'm calling it it's basically just like my favorite movies random products like hair care body care products and like just heaps of fun stuff so I'll link all of my 2015 favorites video down below for you if you haven't seen them yet I did a high-end one a drugstore one like makeup products and then I also did that etc favorite like just random stuff I think my brush is a little bit dirty because it is not Drawing my brows on very smoothly. I'm going to do the other eyebrow and hope that it's better than that one. Okay, I'm just going to roll with my brows today because they are not cooperating. <laughs> Using some L'Oreal Brow Plumper. I don't know where I put my other one that was in the old packaging. It still had like so much product left but I lost it. Okay, on to the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I have literally like no idea what what I'm gonna do today. There's some really pretty like pink colours. Is that too much if I do like pink and purple and purple lips? I don't know. I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna take Painterly Paint Pot. I've been reaching for this a ton lately. Like I don't know I went off it for a little while but I'm back into it. Back into it. I can't take myself seriously with this towel on my head. I'll take Divinity first and I'll just brush a little bit of that over that to set it. I'm going to start with the shade Sprinkles, which is this light pink. I'm going to put this on the eyelid. I was saying that on Twitter today, like, I did a makeup look which was like a cut crease with blue glitter and stuff, and people were like, oh my god, like, this does not suit you at all, blah blah blah. But you guys have to remember, like, I do so many different looks. Of course not every single one of them is going to look amazing, especially, like, on me. Sometimes I'm, like, requested to do makeup looks that don't suit me. 
that would actually like look amazing on other people as well like I do my videos just as much for me as I do for you like I want to come up with different looks and not everyone is going to like every single one that's just life but I always just make my videos in the hopes that at least some of you will like it and enjoy it and use it like some makeup tutorials I have filmed edited and just thought holy shit this is like the worst video ever it's so ugly on me blah 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 and then it ends up being one of my like most popular ones and everyone's like oh my gosh I wear this look every single day and I love it whereas I would never use it you know what I mean and then other looks like I'm like oh my gosh this is like my best video ever I love the makeup on me and heaps of people don't like it it's just life you can always adapt these looks for your own um like preferences as well like if you don't like this kind of pink you could use like a nude or a champagne or something instead now I'm going to take the shade mocha which is this brownish color here and this is gonna go in the crease I'm also putting it kind of in the outer V I'm gonna do a really dark outer V I'm just gonna use a little bit of disobey quickly by La Masca just in my crease as well because I feel like it's looking quite ashy I need it to be a little bit warmer I'm also just running a little bit of that mocha underneath the outer part of my lower lash line now I'm going to take a pencil brush with this warm kind of like chocolatey brown colour and I'm going to draw that in my outer V. And I'm just going to use that same brush that I used Mocha with and I'm just going to blend that so it's nice and seamless. And I might build it up a little bit so it's super dark. I'm getting a little bit of fallout with these eyeshadows, but the colours are really pretty and very easy to blend. That pink is a very, very subtle colour though. So I'm keeping most of the darkness on that outer kind of edge of my eye. I'm just going to use that big blender brush again. This is by Fearless. It's the Pro 7E brush. I'm just going to use whatever's left on that of the Disobey just to blend everything. Okay, I might touch up that out of there later because I'm going to add a couple more colours. I'm going to use a little bit of this really bright fuchsia pink. I'm just putting that kind of like right next to that out of there. And then I'm going to use that other pink colour just here called Cotton Candy. And I'm going to put that one step in so it's kind of like on the like centre of my eyelid. Well this colour is really pretty, it's quite iridescent. I don't know if it looks like I've got an eye infection or if it looks good. I'm taking a little bit of Bordeaux again and I'm just going to wiggle that on the outer V just to darken it and just up in that outer crease. And then a little bit more of Disobey. I just feel like I need a little bit more brightness on that inner kind of, not corner because I'm going to do something different on my inner corner, but on the inner lid where I put that first pink, I'm using this shimmery colour. I'm just going to pat that right there. This colour isn't very pigmented. Where is my... Concealer. I'm using a tiny bit of concealer just to clean up this area right here because I got carried away. Next I'm going to use this pearl base by Galactic. This is what it looks like. It's almost got like a little pink throwback to it. I love this to highlight. I might use it today but yeah that's the colour. So I'm going to use this as a base on my inner corner. Then on top of that, I'm going crazy. This is Inglot number 29 eyeshadow. It's like an iridescent pale pink. I feel like this would look really nice with my natural eye colour. I might take out my contacts later once I do my hair. And then for my brow bone, I'm just going to use a bone matte colour. I think I might make this super smoky. I'm going to add black eyeliner to my tight line and waterline. I'm completely experimenting right now. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to add some black matte liquid liner. Hopefully I can save this look. It's starting to look a little bit crazy. How did I get lipstick up there? Today is one of those days. Don't know what I'm doing. I just hope I don't screw it up. My wings are completely different and it begins. Change of plan. We're going uber dramatic today. I'm going to take <laughs> this colour here and I'm going to blend that under my eyeliner. Under here. And then after I've done this, I'm going to blend a black in as well. Do this one here and I'm using the same brush. There's a little bit of black mixed on. on. And I'm just going to pat that right on the outer V, just to make it even darker. And blending this, I don't know if I can save myself guys, it's looking a bit crazy. I'm going to go take out my blue contacts, I feel like once I take out the blue contacts it'll look a lot more subtle. I'm going to do dramatic lashes to balance out, you know, everything. These are the Soulmate Bakes of Beauty. 
Then I'm going to use some of this Max Factor Glamour Extensions 3 in 1 mascara. Just on my top lashes, I'm actually going to use some false bottom lashes too, I think. I'm going to use the Understated underneath my lash line. Thanks for beauty. I hope I can pull this look together. I'm not loving it at the moment. I think half the problem is like my hair's not done, so I'm not seeing like the completed look. I'm just putting on some mascara on top. Oh my gosh, it's going so clumpy. And I've got one really, really weirdly long eyelash. It's one of those days, it's official. Just using a little cotton tip to kind of take off some of the excess mascara. Since this look is completely crazy, I'm gonna take some of this metallic eyeshadow. This is called Metallic Rose Quartz by Stila. And yes, I know I have mascara everywhere. I'm just waiting for it to dry before I wipe it away. I'm just gonna take this on an angled brush and I'm just going to kind of pat that through here. I'm just taking a clean cotton bud and just flaking away this mascara. So those are the eyes. Oh, maybe I did save them. Not like the worst thing I've ever done, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You can hear Hamish in the background like yelling as <laughs> he's playing um, PlayStation with his mates. I'm taking some Well Rested by Bia Minerals and this is a fearless brush. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to put this under my eyes to brighten and get rid of all of that darkness that the fallout kind of caused. I'm so sorry if the lighting is kind of weird. It's so dark outside. It looks like there's about to be a storm or something. It's really ridiculously hot as well so I don't quite understand this weather. I'm not sure if you can see the difference. It just helps to kind of conceal. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Shane Light palette. I'm going to use I think this middle colour to contour. I'm also going to put some up on my temples. I'm just using that banana powder to kind of like bake that line. And while that is happening, I'm going to put on blush and highlight. My blush, I'll use this Too Faced Your Love is King blush. It's like a deep kind of like burgundy colour. I'm obviously only going to use a small amount. And I'm going back in with that pearl base by Galactic on my highlight area. For my highlight, I'm using this Tarte Disc. This is the Showstopper Disc. I'm using the highlight shade. I love this highlighter. It's like my favourite at the moment. I'm just going to pack that on top. I'm doing it quite intense. I'm also going to take a tiny amount right on the top of my brow bone. Just to tie it all together. And then I'm just using this Duo Fibre Brush. I'm just blending all of those colours out. I'm going to add a little bit of this colour on top of my lips just to make them a little bit more purple. This is the Melted Violet. I feel like I could have done so much better. I still think it looks really pretty but I kind of wish I didn't do such a dramatic wing although that was an accident and then I did like such a heavy lower lash line to balance out the wing which now I feel like the lower lash line is way too dramatic for anything. It's part of the learning process. I still think the colours look really pretty good. I, did, I, did, I just feel like I could have executed the application better. If you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up. That's how the eyes look. I love this look combination. It looks really pretty. Love the highlighter. Thank you so much for watching. It's time for me to get over myself right now. I'll probably like edit this later and be like Shannon it's really not that bad. I'm just being really dramatic. I don't know. Maybe it just needs like a different lip colour. Probably. It would probably look better with like a pink or a nude lipstick, but I was determined to do purple. <laughs> if you do recreate this look, maybe try it with a different lip colour if you want to, but yeah. That's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye! Hey everyone, so today I am doing a super chill get ready with me slash tutorial thing. I was going to keep this as just like one of my old school get ready with me videos, but I asked you guys if you wanted a voiceover and some of you said you did. So if you don't want to listen to me blabber, feel free to just mute me and play some music because I've sped it up and hopefully it's kind of interesting to watch. I don't know.